Hi, it's Matthew McAllister here, and I want to talk just for a few minutes about practicing and about making a practice chart and keeping a record of your practice. It's fine to sit in a practice room for six or seven hours a day practicing, but if you don't know what you're doing and how long you're working on certain things and if you're avoiding certain repertoire, sometimes it's not as efficient. So when I'm really busy and I'm playing multiple programs, working with different instruments or, or singers or all sorts of different groups and ensembles and keeping my solo repertoire in check, I need this. That is my practice chart. It stays in my case with me. I record everything I do every day when I get the chance to practice and it shows me really quickly if I'm working on a piece or not. Now, I stole the idea from David Russell, um, the amazing uh, guitar player and musician, and he used to do something kind of similar, I think, when he was recording and working on different repertoire. Um, and I probably have taken the idea to some sort of geeky extreme, but that's okay, that's me. I can quickly see, when I'm looking at this chart, if I'm not practicing a piece. And I'll go into a little bit more detail. So you can see here, I have the repertoire I'm playing down the left hand side. And then here you can see AM written, and that meant it was on American Collection. So that was for an album. And then other things will be different types of concerts or recordings, and the whole list of repertoires down the side. Then up the top is the date. So that's the, the day in September, one, two, three, four, five, the soul of September. And then marked along the top are the different concerts that are happening. Festival in Mexico, Festival in the North of England, and then some different recordings, some trio concerts. And all the way through I'm ticking each day if I do practice. Okay, so I hope this encourages you to design your own little practice chart. A really good way of quickly seeing before you start your practice one day, what did I work on yesterday? Well, I need to work on other things and avoid that repertoire that I'm spending too long playing in the practice room and not practicing. Um, you can use different colors like I do, which can show you how ready something's getting. Maybe red is danger, not so good, and green is sounding great. You can make it your own, turn it into whatever you want, but good luck with it and happy practicing.